And we take this from the business scene before we go to other reports. The Association of Mobile Money and Bank Agents in Nigeria, AMBAN, has vowed to ensure the implementation of the framework put in place by the Central Bank of Nigeria to ensure compliance by members. The national president of AMBAN, Victor Olojo, said this while addressing newsmen on some issues raised by the House Committee on Banking and Currency with regards to agency banking and financial inclusion. The impact of mobile money and agency banking hit a crescendo in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic and the lockdown, with active point-of-sale terminals used by merchants for financial transactions, recording about 3.1 trillion naira in the second quarter of 2021. The increase in the value of POS transactions in Nigeria shows the spending patterns of Nigerians and payment preferences, reaching all new Kankreni and, by extension, deepening the nation's financial inclusion drive. However, there have been complaints of proliferation of agents, lack of KYC to even issues of theft and other fraudulent activities. The Yamban executive spoke of a tax force for self-regulation while clarifying other gray areas. Just take one of the case studies. I mean, part of the framework of the CBN is that a mobile money or bank agent should be in a brick and mortar location, like an address that is traceable. But what we have today are agents under umbrellas, trees. We have agents who are walking this terminal. Rising from our fifth AMBA annual national conference held in Abuja last year, one of the resolutions that came out of our robust deliberations with all critical stakeholders was to begin self-regulation using our tax force. Victor Olojo lamented that the members are often on the receiving end when it came to counterfeited bills and other fraudulent activities, making a renewed call for radical trading. There was a robbery case that happened in the East and um, somebody's phone was snatched and those um, you know, um, bad guys came to Lagos, they took the SIM and transferred the funds to an agent. You know, and the agent innocently actually served that customer, not knowing that that customer is actually you know, um, an arm robber. What we find out now is that those merchants now turn the outlet to a mobile money payment outlet. And that's not what the PRS is making meant for. And those that give out the PRS know that this is what is going on. But they do not query them because what they want, they want money. The growth in the number of POS businesses in the country has formed a major source of employment for Nigerians, especially the U.S. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.